This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. This might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Would you mind coming over here? Our soldiers need better. We shall remain here. And who are you supposed to be? Goodness me!
shall suffer none to disturb this peace. Herald himself from a moment in fortune. It is our duty to see this peace. Dull days for us are assigned. So tranquil. I always draw a short straw. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Greetings. Patrons, connoisseurs, friends, my humblest thanks for joining me here at the unveiling of my collection's crowning jewel. There is much more I should like to say, but the anticipation is apt to kill me should I stall another moment. Let us gaze upon the sculpture now. <laughs> my word. It would appear I overestimated your ability. How dare you claim my gold for a clumsy attempt such as this? You have shamed me and shall ne'er again know my patronage, Fulvio. Now gather your things and be gone from my sight! Dispiriting conclusion. It is a shame how the sculpture turned out. I know Clark wasn't pleased, but... That was the best I could manage. I shall strive to improve, and perhaps one day he'll think better of me. I swear I'll wring that incompetent sculptor's neck. What a fool I was to place my faith in him. Pray, follow me. Have you need of me? This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. It is not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Over here, if you would. Yeah. <sighs> 
Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Such quiet you find a predicament. Let me get that. I'm just grateful I get to lead a quiet life. Well, it's rooted in the soil of life. It is a remarkable treasure we found. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. Welcome respite from all that hustle and bustle. Just yonder. Looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few.
lights out. On me, the bear wants to shoot you. I'm stuck till the passenger comes along. What, pray tell, are you doing here? Have you need of me? Come to think of it. Was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. If tis refined you want, go find some nice. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I bear word from Regent Ken Sven, your majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard, a minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there is aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing to undertake this task? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's Chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. I am confident we shall see this matter to a successful conclusion. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, Your Majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces, and all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry 
will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill will prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. Sir, the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Deesa. This spider has woven her web rather carefully. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen a place with books likely to entice Magistrate Waldo, you see. Kendrick of the Gracious Hand is versed in many things. But is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Ah. Uh, masquerades being as they are, you will require much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Tis no simple matter to infiltrate the castle should you fall into the hands of the guards. There'll be naught I can do to- However, a sentry loyal to me will be on duty. I am afraid she will be unable to aid you directly. But she will know to look the other way. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizens. How might I be that's enough for one day. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Whereabouts are you, Eddie? I'm not taking any passengers, just. I've got nothing for ye. Well met. Looking to make a purchase? Tis no quiet life, mind. The r much obliged, sir. I shall tend to you should you require healing, master. You need merely say the word. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Always a pleasure. Might not one of the bandits in Vernworth's jail know of the methods employed by thieves and their ilk? Then follow me. I'll lead the way. I quite agree.
Follow me, if you would. There's a ladder here. Ah, excellent find. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right. It's on the roads, despite... The hour? Much obliged. This well, is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not... Far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. It would seem we've a need to visit the palace. Let us make for the palace, that you might investigate Minister Allard's chambers. I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. We have arrived. You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! One of the other guards is by you. I will be forced to. Have you heard the news? The new recruits are to be sent out to Melv. Melv, I say. I'm not sure who gave the order. Wait for the new equipment. 
Hmm. You're far from your state. I cannot permit you to enter the masquerade hall in your current raiment. Tis ill suited to the occasion. Leave this place at once! You have no right to be here! You seem to be rather friendly with Captain Brancer. Tell me, is he faring well? Tis lamentable that the captain of the late Consul's Guard should have been relegated to the garrison. But there are whispers that he was given this station in reprisal for an unthinking petition he made to Her Grace. Ever since Theseus' factions seized power within the palace, her detractors have found themselves shunted into a corner. If I were you, I'd take care not to be seen currying favor with the good captain. Thesa has eyes everywhere, it seems. One of the other guards is by you. I wish the minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. Business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour. I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. <laughs> My lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. What are you doing in here? I don't recognize you. Guards, seize the intruder. Yeah. 
You are not permitted to be here. Move along. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Fancy a look at my wares. attend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen, I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, true to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue to be certain, though it is clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilled between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way. I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it and ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Phasus. Now there's a name to remember. It seems you must attend a palace masquerade if you're to meet the one who would falsely claim your title. It would seem we even need to visit the palace. I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use.
A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Might not one of the bandits in Vernworth's jail know of the methods employed by thieves and their ilk? Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. I quite agree. Follow me, if you would. It seems we must part ways for the time being. Up my gear for the morrow. I'd hasten home. Oh, looking for the Jade Eye Orb, are you? Can't say I've seen it, or heard of it for that matter. Mind refreshing my memory? It's all coming back to me now, uh, which is to say, I've not a clue. But I can tell you what I'd do if I nicked a treasure like that. My first stop would be Ibrahim's scrap store. Got to be sure my price is the genuine article, eh? The scrap stores are in the checkpoint rest town. Might be worth a look, see? I'd sooner stay out in that where it's lost on this train. I should very much like to rejoin you, Master.
it now. I quite like it. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some sub shall remain here. Take a better mind than mine to solve this. Arms! Arms! For ah, Sir Arisen, I've been meaning to speak with you. Did you, perchance, pay a visit to the House of the Blue Sunbright? I see. After the rather strongly worded letter I received, I feared as much. T'was under unique circumstances, shall we say, that Daphne came to reside with us. You must understand, the House of the Blue Sunbright is our most generous benefactor, and their favor hinges upon our continued discretion. Thus, for the sake of all who reside herein, I beg you to steer Daphne away from any further contact with that household. Though it pains me to perpetuate the girl's misfortune, it must be done, if the gracious hand is to continue to function. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms? But many thanks. May for... Sir Arisen, I pray see to it that naught akin to the recent debacle be allowed to occur again. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune... Ah! Hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? Might I propose we seek out new information? Right you are. This is a place of prayer. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. Shall we seek some answers? I can guide you to the place arisen, or thereabouts. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Do you perchance remember me? You once knew me as maid to the young master, Sebastian. Well, I'm his maid no longer. Though I meant no harm, the mistress saw fit to turn me out. Tell no other soul of this. But the girl I had you fetch, was none other than Sebastian's own twin sister. A feared of inviting conflict over their inheritance, Daphne's family branded her a cursed babe and sent her away. Yet the loss of her newborn child drove the mistress half mad with grief. She's been bedridden ever since. I had hoped the sight of her long lost daughter might rekindle some vital spark within my mistress. But alas, it would seem it was not to be. In the end, my good intentions served only to rob me of my station. I suppose it was no less than my due for meddling in the affairs of the nobility. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. 
Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. Malcolm? All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. The heavens have forsaken us. Where could Malcolm have? Perhaps you could try asking the other children. Is it true you're the Arisen? Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. A fellow Drake or two, and I reckon you'll learn. There's not much going on hereabouts. I only work when I fancy, but I get... Well met! I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Keep those orders coming. This fearsome world of our... Pray, follow me. Allow me to lead the way. I can take... I wonder what it was, Malcolm. I'm quite sure I was, but ox carts don't run so late. Was it a phantom then? I shudder to think. Oh, not much going on here about. What brings you here? Say, I've noticed you walking around questioning people. Looking for information, are we? If I were you, I'd pay a visit to the jail next, if you haven't already. The place is full of unsavory characters, as one might expect, who've seen things ordinary citizens aren't privy to. I should know. I was among their company till just recently. We have to end up feeling weary even after a day of rest. I'm always willing to lend a helping hand. I quite leave off. This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice loud. Is is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together, but I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mention rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come! I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. Moment 
annihilate their mudlord if I'm done. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. Heed your fences. If Ord feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. I was told of the vaults, but ne'er did I dream that the gracious hand sat atop catacombs. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick? You'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly. Perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought not lose sight of our guide. You have my support. My magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Ah, now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Above. Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. 
Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that's so impressive... The books ne'er seem to... You're always good for... It seems you must attend a palace masquerade if you're to meet the one who would falsely claim your title. It would seem we even need to visit the palace. I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Water is now invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. Over here, if you please. Follow along at your own pace, Master. I shan't leave you behind. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. The Arisen decides our path. We have but... Follow. Shall await you here, Master. Suppose I'll call it a day and go for a drink. I am. Not with him, poor, whatever happens here, anyhow. Would that I ne'er had cause to draw steel. Well? Have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Not wound your bone by getting cut open. So tired. I'd kept just about anywhere.
I have been waiting for you, Arisen. I, this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. something for me. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it... <laughs> my, my. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. What? Can't you think of a reason? I'd thought you a keener wit than that. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over. Now you found me out? So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Aye, aye. You'll have your coin. That's how this works, isn't it? Greed will get you nowhere, friend. But worry not. You won't need it where you're headed. Let my magic draw into your mental You there. Hold. Shit. We're in for it now. With all likelihood, he is an agent dispatched from Batal. Pray, let us handle the rest. We will hear all he has to say before the week is out. I bid you, wait till then. Yes, sir. I do not engage in idle chatter while on duty. It'll do you no good letting me rot in here, you know. Another agent will be on you before long.
Might as well take a look while you're here. Ray? Many thanks. Our packs are heavier, and our purses fuck. Welcome to and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, hope to see you again. Suit me? Look as long as you Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to almost hospitality in all much obliged. Welcome. off where I stand. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. We shall remain here. This merrymaking is a joy to behold. Oh, naught but dreary duty awaits after this. If you've naught to say, I'd best be going. Let me think on this a moment. The sky always Mary makes me have gone to the tail to each other all the court. There's ought to be said for peace and quiet. I find it liberating to hide my face for a time. Has there nary a chance to make a fresh acquaintance? So many happy voices carried on the wind. Have you twouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs here? Can't say I have any tidings to share. can only be honed on tisn't my way to gossip
Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. Well, scale all you like. In here. here the Open up. Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the Masquerade Hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another, Lord Phasus? That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain... pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time. If you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. I wonder if anyone else should. Must the wind blow up her every which way? Where to now?
market before it slips my mind. So many happy voices. This isn't much to go. At last. Tis a relief to be at your side again, Master. Do take care not to stray so far next time. Won't someone do what about this? Time to find me a mark. Welcome to the crowd. Let's eyes open. This ladder. Looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. As a reward for your majesty's efforts, you have been invited to attend the coronation. To it seem, congratulations are in order. You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you have procured such attire. There is much we ought to attend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, it seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit the man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? You do not possess it. I see. I had hoped you would return it to me ere long. If you've deposited it somewhere, might I trouble you to retrieve it and bring it back to me? Else, if you've lost it, mayhap it's been put up for sale at the scrap store. Tis a curious shop, where all manner of useless trinkets may be found. The townspeople sell all they find there. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If Your Majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, Tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. Pray inform me. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. But what precisely is their aim? That's odd. We ought to bring word of this to Captain Brand. Welcome. Peru's at your well, mate. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the Almost hospitality in all the much obliged. This inspires more, but mischievous. Look as long as you can. Follow me, if you would. We have reached our destination. There is much we ought to attend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, it seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. That was certainly worthwhile. 
A laudable result. Just what I would expect of heroism. It is vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. Here we are. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your... We will hear all he has to say before... The... Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Shall we get some rest then? I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Come, we've much to be getting on with. 